Salmon are some of the world's greatest travellers. They're born in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, and then return against the flow to the exact spot that they were born so that they can reproduce. I'm here in British Columbia, one of the world's greatest salmon spawning grounds, and I'm going to be following the journey of salmon from source to plate. We're in the Great Bear Rainforest and we're going to go see some salmon spawning and start the salmon adventure. I'm with Fraser the guide and we're on a boat and I think we're just getting there, heading up the river a little bit further. The rains never look so beautiful and peaceful, it's so nice out here. I just wanted to show you this place. This is where the salmon are on their way to spawn. The spawning grounds are a little further up. We can go up there and have a closer look at those guys. See how they're changing colors and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what the male salmon do is they make a little divot in the gravel. The females will come in, lay their eggs, and the males will come back, and then they'll lay the sperm on top of that. And then those eggs will sit over the winter and they'll hatch in the spring. And those little fry will go out to sea, spend a few years out there growing, and then they return to this very river that they were born, and then watch the whole process start again. Less than 1% of all the salmon will survive. Really? If you think about it, the gauntlet that they have to go through, all the fishing, all the oceans, the whales, the bears, the other birds, everything to make it back here. And all that 1% gives life to this forest. Call the salmon the lifeblood of the coast. Yeah, we're just going to get you spin casting here, see if we can catch you a salmon. Right, we'll just walk out a little bit here. This finger, you're just going to hold the line there. And then with your left hand, you're going to grab right there. Once you get forward, you're going to let go of that pointer finger. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Can you talk a little bit about the cycle of the fish? I mean, at this point in time, they would have started coming in from the uh, open ocean. So, you know, they fight uh, things like this year, we had a really dry summer, so there's very low water levels. So they're kind of waiting and waiting and waiting for some rains to then be able to make it further upstream. So I grew up along the Kinkum River. From the village, 40 kilometers up there, everybody had their own smokehouses. Many, many feasts have been given. The salmon was the basis of these feasts really? for thousands of years, right? And the smoke from the fire provides the flavor as well. Yeah, yeah. so that infuses into the salmon. That's right. Now I'm traveling down to Vancouver to find out even more ways of how to prepare a salmon. Hi. Yes. The BC fat salmon is a very well known worldwide. I think the quality is best. Yeah, and yeah. people come to Vancouver to try the salmon. Would well. you say it was the best in the world? Yes, I would say Fantastic. so. Yes, yes. So this is a fresh uh, salt nice. Like salmon. Nice, beautiful yeah. color. That is a, a big piece of salmon. Yeah. Like that. Now I'll uh, this, this part. Wow. So, so I'll take that skin off. Just like that, it's beautiful, you can see. Nice. Yeah. Just like that, yes, beautiful. Uh, this is our uh, signature dish, it's called Aburi Salmon or Sushi, using uh, wild sockeye salmon, right this year, with our secret sauce. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. yeah, jalapeno. That is, I think that's my favorite. This has been so good. Thank you so Thank much you. for this experience. What a breathtaking journey it's been here in British Columbia. I've seen the salmon spawning right through to catching one and then even preparing it and eating it back there in the restaurant. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you check out all the other videos I've made whilst here in British Columbia because I've got up to some pretty cool stuff.